Crea AI tutorial and review. How to use Crea AI photo editing. Are you guys tired of editing your photos step by step and having to use complicated photo editing tools? Well, in the age of AI, we no longer have to do that. We can do that with the click of a few, a few keys on our keyboard, and we can easily use some simple prompts to be able to edit our photos. And to do that, we're going to be utilizing the power of Crea AI. So let's jump right in and take a look at this amazing AI platform. Now, Crea AI is an AI platform that allows you to create images, edit images, videos, add video lip syncing, real time, train, enhance, and even generate three dimensional objects from your text or images within seconds. Now, to get started with Crea AI, simply click on sign up on the top right. And once you click on sign up, you can sign up with Google or your email. I'm going to be proceeding with Google, and I'm just going to do a very quick and easy sign up using my Google account. And once I have proceeded on with my sign up, this is what my Crea dashboard is going to look like. Now on your top right, you're going to have your account information as well as your daily credits. Now with this, you have limited free generations and limited access to Crea tools when you are on the free version. However, the basic plans start at only $8 if you opt for yearly billing and they have some really amazing perks, which we will be discussing at the end of this video. So to get started with image editing and image, you know, creation, you guys can see you can directly go into image over here and then proceed and you guys can see that this allows you to create images but i want to edit images so i can actually go into their enhancer or i can go into their editor over here if i click on the editor over here i can click on upload image once i do that i can upload the relevant image that i want to alter let's say it's this image over here now from here you can proceed with what changes you want to create so i want to go ahead and i want to make uh, remove the object in her hand or replace it with a rose make her lipstick a nude pink and i'll put on gold hoop earrings and now once i've done that you guys can see on the right we even have some inspiration that we can use but right now i'm doing some really basic editing and then i can click on generate and once i do that i can proceed now on your bottom left you can even choose the model you want to use you can see there are several different models and right now it is doing all of the edits and actually i'm pretty impressed by the way that it is able to edit the hand because editing hands can be really complicated and this is what it looks like this is actually really nice the lipstick color could be improved upon this is a bit uh, fuchsia but I could actually alter that further. But in general, it was able to follow the directions of my prompt pretty accurately. It replaced it with a rose. And this is a pretty decent edit. Now, if I want to proceed with further editing or editing another image, I'm going to go into a new session from the top left. Once I click on new session, I'm going to click on upload image. And I'm going to be choosing a different image. So I'm going to be proceeding with something slightly different that I want to be, you know, editing and you know altering let's say that i want to alter this image over here and then i can go into some of their pre-made styles this includes product placement haircuts changing the weather colorizing changing outfits so i'm going to go with change outfit and within this i want her to be in a i can write what i want but i'm just gonna leave it at change outfit and just like so it is able to just take the preset that i've given it and based upon that preset it's going to make some changes so it has changed the outfit and this looks very different but it still has keeping the integrity of the character integrity of you know the way that the character looks so the facial features all of that looks pretty accurate and pretty dead on but the outfit has been altered and this actually looks really amazing this is honestly a really stunning you know reiteration of my original image now if i want i can remove the preset and then proceed with a prompt you can even make further changes so for example if i want to tie her hair in a bun so I can just provide that in a prompt and then based upon this prompt, it's going to alter the altered image. So you're able to make further changes to an uh, image that you have already altered. And you guys can see now it is tying her hair in a bun while keeping the same character, the same appearance, the same overall look. So now from this, it has converted our image into this image over here, which is very accurate. It even has kept the earrings as they were. So the earrings look just as they were within the first image. And these are just really great ways that you can utilize the power of Crea AI. Now on the left, you can see you have multiple different AI models, including Flux, Flux Content Dev, as well as Flux Content Max, Content Pro, 
as well as chat GPT image. So you can just choose whichever one you want. You guys can see with different models, you're going to have different inputs. So if you change to flux over here, you can add objects, remove, expand borders, move objects, add images. Now you can further proceed with using the flux model or whatever model you prefer. Now this is just one feature within Crea. Crea is actually a really amazing tool. If I want to generate an image, so I can just go on over here. You guys can see this is a sample prompt. There are a bunch of different sample prompts that I can utilize. And I want to create something along these lines. Or maybe I'm just going to go with my own prompt. So a woman with long black hair in front or sitting in a castle garden made surround her. She is having tea like so. So this is my basic prompt. Now I can click on style. And you guys can see they even have some pre-built styles that you can pick out from. I'm just going to leave it at, you know, whatever it wants to use. Or you can use, you know, a preferred style if you have one. Then you can go with the image style and the size of the image as well as the resolution. And once you have input everything, you're just going to proceed with clicking on generate. And it's going to create the image for you. So right now it is creating four variations and this is the first variation. This is actually pretty decent. This is a more realistic one. Then we have this image over here and then we have this image over here. So all of these were some pretty amazing ones and I can proceed with creating more variations of an image. So if I like this one, I can click on enhance to further enhance this image or I can choose to upscale this image, download this or make more variations. So let's say I like this particular style and I want to create some variations for this. So now I'm just going to proceed with them. And you guys can see based upon that image, it has created some variations. Now you guys can see this one has a bit glitchy because there's like tea falling and it doesn't look very nice. However, it was still able to create some really nice and amazing alterations for our image. Now you might wonder, hey, this must be a super expensive tool to get started with. Well, not at all. Crea starts for free. There is limited access, but you get daily credits and your credits are going to refresh every day. However, if you do opt for their basic plan for only $10 a month, you have a hundred, you have a thousand flux images, 36 real-time images, 180 enhanced images, as well as six training jobs and a commercial license. The pro plan starts at 35 and the max plan starts at $60. And with these you get over a hundred thousand AI real-time images. So this is uh, truly something that is going to be all in one tool for AI image as well as AI visuals. And you can create some really amazing content with these visuals as well. Make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Today, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.